Apple is officially working on a brand new gaming device that is likely to revolutionize iOS gaming and if you don't believe me, I bet that I can prove it to you before the end of this video because I not only have a bunch of new leaks to share with you, but also brand new patent filings from Apple themselves. So before I get into those patents and the new leaks, I want to refresh everyone's memory on how and when all of these leaks originally started, as well as why right now is the perfect time for Apple's new gaming device. Way back in 2020, there were rumors of Apple working on a new Apple TV with a stronger gaming focus from analysts like Mark Gurman, who is extremely reliable, and even the popular leaker Love to Dream claimed that Apple was developing their own gaming controller. Not only that, but leakers like Fudge were also talking about the new controller being meant for gaming, not just for an Apple TV. But then it started to get very interesting when Fudge mentioned that Apple Arcade was getting big money poured into it with titles in the works that are aiming to rival the likes of Zelda Breath of the Wild. But wait, it gets even better because there was a very interesting and convincing leak out of Hong Kong with Apple apparently working on a new portable hybrid console like the Nintendo Switch, which basically saved Nintendo with its huge success. But even better, Apple was apparently preparing a new chip with a new model name, not the Apple A series or the M series, featuring a bigger focus on GPU performance as well as ray tracing support, now what was really interesting to me was the part where Apple was negotiating with Ubisoft among other famous gaming developers, and this isn't the only place where we saw information like this. In January of 2021, the verifier claimed that Apple was working on an expanded Arcade Plus service with Apple apparently working with major and well-known gaming companies in order to offer their games on Apple platforms. This is hugely important because the number one thing that's holding Apple back from being huge in the AAA gaming space is the actual games themselves, since their hardware is absolutely powerful enough to support AAA games. So if Apple worked with big gaming companies, that would finally make Apple more AAA gaming viable. And if you're doubting that Apple would actually do this, it makes total sense because any investment Apple makes into the gaming space will be hugely beneficial for their upcoming VR headset that is expected to come next year. So they'll obviously need a huge library of popular games ahead of the VR headset launch. But now, let's get into all the most recent leaks, including the new Apple patents, to prove to you guys that the new Apple gaming system is coming. Apparently, within the recent podcast Xbox 2 on YouTube, Windows Central writer Jess Corden revealed that Apple has been poaching Xbox engineers to make its own gaming console. And just to give you a bit of evidence for this rumor, Apple currently has a job opening for a Game Center engineer manager up on their website, and the description talks about building, engaging developer and customer experiences in the gaming space. And then moving forward, we just got another huge leak from Taiwan discussing Apple finalizing plans to make its debut with a dedicated gaming console, which means it could be coming sooner than we all expected. And just to imagine what this could look like, Constantine Melanine on Twitter made these awesome looking renders of what Apple's gaming console could end up looking like, and I think it's beautiful. But the big deal from the Taiwan leak was that both Capcom and Ubisoft were in active talks with Apple among other leading game companies in terms of exclusive games, which is really exciting. And now with all those leaks out of the way, let's finally get into the new Apple patent filings that confirm that Apple is extremely interested in gaming more than anyone thought. Last month, Apple won a game controller patent with emphasis on thumbstick input, which shows that they're serious about gaming this time around instead of just using digital controls. But it gets even better because Apple had another patent filing showing off a variety of gaming controller styles, like one which literally mimics the Nintendo Switch with removable grips on both sides of an iPhone which can attach to it. And not only that, but you can play in portrait mode as well, as you can see in this iPhone image, and even with an iPad, which I wasn't expecting at all. 
And now in the second style, it looks sort of like a stand where your iPhone is propped up, but you also have a keyboard and controls within a secondary display below, giving you extra information and even a keyboard for chat. And then the last style looks more like a traditional gaming controller, which can of course be used for gaming, but also for answering phone calls and responding to text messages and emails. But what really blew my mind was the next set of Apple patents that show off a variety of game controllers that magnetically attach to an iDevice like the iPhone and include a smart foldable carrying case. And when it says magnets, I think it refers to using Apple's MagSafe accessory system, which I think is very important to Apple because they're gonna be putting MagSafe chargers into their future Apple car. The first style features a foldable gaming controller, which attaches to your iPhone with MagSafe and can flip up with a hinge, giving you extra controls on the bottom while gaming. And another image shows the possibility of using the dual displays for VR and AR gaming, which is an interesting concept. But what I think is by far the most likely is this style, where you place your iPhone onto the magnetic game controller and there are joysticks or controls sticking out of both sides. And you can even use the iPhone or iPad in portrait mode for games that only support that mode instead of landscape. And the beauty of this one is that it perfectly combines the MagSafe idea with the first patent of a Nintendo Switch style gaming controller. And what this reminded me of was the new GameSir X3 iPhone gaming controller, which Golden Reviewer showed off on YouTube, which features controls on both sides, just like Apple's patents, and even a built-in cooler on the back. But the secret about Apple's MagSafe version of the controller is that they will likely also be able to transfer data through MagSafe instead of using the Lightning port, which will be an amazing new feature, especially when the portless iPhone comes out in the future. So the big question to all of this is this. Is Apple's brand new gaming system actually a new gaming console with a brand new chip, or is it just making a MagSafe gaming controller? Well, for now, we can't really tell, but I think we're getting pretty close to a release of Apple's new leaked gaming system, because this year, the iPhone 14 lineup is rumored to finally ditch the mini size, which means it'll be easier for a new potential controller to support the entire iPhone lineup. And as for the original question in the title on whether it's coming at WWDC or not, I think it's a bit less likely because it might be too soon, and we've already got some new Max rumor to come, so I think the new gaming releases will probably wait until sometime in the fall. But if you completely disagree with me, then comment your thoughts down below. But if you enjoyed this video, click the circle above to subscribe for more videos like this one, and definitely check out one of those two right over there. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.